Sync for camera three. Up in the overhead, boy. Today's episode is made possible through the continuing support of Crazy Joe and dozens of other people just like you on Patreon. If you want to be a part of this awesome giant series of videos of building an epic robot and all the other cool stuff that I do around here, check out the links below in the description and see how you can get involved. Thank you. Hi there guys and welcome back to the shop. I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to Project Archie episode 29 where today we're going to do Fun stuff in pack and wire through tubes. This is going to be the J3 motor and encoder wire sleeving. We're going to put a little sleeve on here in preparation for cleaning up all this. There's, we gotta, we need a haircut. Like everybody in the isolation right now, it's getting to be about that time where people need haircuts. So we're going to give this robot a bit of a haircut. We're going to take this bundle of wires and this bundle of wires and get all this stuff. Oh, and some more wires, we got these two. And these are all gonna end up, over the next few videos, getting routed in, down through the gland, <laughs> gland, into the main junction box. So the next few videos are gonna be pretty easy. We're just gonna be messing with this stuff. Now there's a lot of different ways to skin this cat. I am lucky and I have some really awesome, big giant tools for this from the medical world and I'm gonna be using those. But you can do this with Painter's tape, electrical tape, and a bit of stiff wire. I recommend like a ish 12 gauge solid wire. If you've got any old solid wire laying around, not stranded, it's not nearly as easy, but if you don't have any of that, an old wire coat hanger works well. So I'm, I'm doing it with this because it's what I have. And if I have it, why not use it? So we're gonna wanna begin with a length of this stuff from Alex Tech. It's in the Amazon list. You're gonna need the quarter inch size, and you're gonna to wanna to cut off a length of 26 centimeters or 10 inches if you're in America. So we're gonna need just, just a bit of this. I'm gonna measure that out and cut it. Okay, we'll set that aside and remember to torch the ends a little bit. So an important point when you're melting the ends of this, and you, you really need to or they'll, they'll fray out like crazy, You've got the flat axis of this and the skinny axis. Squeeze. You wanna squeeze it into roughly a, a round shape before you melt them, and it'll help it hold that shape. So that's, that's about what you're going for. Just melt it down a bit. All right, once we're melted down, you can slide that over your thing. Ooh, that's a tight fit on that one. That'll be fine. Okay. I think it'll be fine. It'll probably be fine. Okay, so the manual says to take all the J3 motor and encoder wires and bring them together with blue painter's tape. Man, that's gonna be a hammer fit to get all that in a piece of quarter inch sleeve. But he says it, I'm gonna try it. I don't know if it's gonna work, but if it doesn't, we got a plan B. That's, that's gonna be super tight. So we're just gonna bring all these together with a piece of blue painter's tape. And even after they're all sleeved, once you take the tape off, you'll be able to adjust individual wires. So I'm not, I'm not worried about them all being exactly where I want them in overall length. I'm just gonna roll that up thus. When you, when you do this, you wanna make sure to have a fair bit of engagement up the thing, cause you're gonna be pulling on this Probably not terribly hard, but it's just a good skill to have if you're 
if you're building up wire ends for pulling, um, like with a fish tape or something like that, you want to have several inches of engagement, several inches of wrap, because it's, it's in shear. You're going to be pulling on this end, and you want to make sure your tape doesn't pull off. So put it on tight, and painter's tape isn't terribly strong, which is fine for this, but we're going to be pulling out here, and we want to make sure we have enough tape that it doesn't tear, and that we've got enough engagement that it doesn't slip off. So now that we've got that, let's see if we can make it do. Whoop. Let's try that again. So I came off because I was not squeezing hard. Oh yeah, it's gonna... See, my end on here, where I melted my end, doesn't want to open because I melted the ends together. So I got to figure out how I'm gonna handle that. This has a long taper on it, and I might be able to open that up a bit. I'll try the other end. So if your ends are stuck together, I'm using a, a pair of tweezers here for this. Slide something in there and spread that out. And it shouldn't fray because enough of these stay hooked together that it'll prevent it from fraying. And you're going to zip tie this anyway. But just spread them out like that so that you can get all the wires through. And then that, oh yeah, that goes way easier. All right, now let's see if this will work. Oh, 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 well, we're almost there. Oh, look at that. See, if you can get the end out, you cannot grab this end and pull. It's not going to work. It's a Chinese finger trap. But if you grab this end and push, you can cram it all the way up the thing. And that's, that's how it do. You just want to work it all the way down and get out the other end. And then once you get all the way to the other end, this is where we're headed right here. Once you get all the way to the other end, then you can hold this end and drag this down. And that'll, that'll get it to the requisite length. Where we end up pretty much right at the joint. So once you've got this all on here and everything is where you want it, there's going to be a, the flat axis to it. I'm going to spin it around. I'm going to zip tie that in place first. Because I don't want it walking off on me. I'm even going to use my fancy little zip tie gun to do this right. If you like these, you can get them in my Amazon store. They are awesome, and I recommend them highly. So now we're secured on there, and we've got the f it's laying flat this way, and we're going to wrap that under. And through there. And I'm going to secure both of those wires together around the zip tie that I've got here on the motor base. Because there's just enough room through that to get in there. And this will make it all really nice and super clean. Get my zip tie lined up. I want just a little bit of play. Don't, don't reef that down tight. You can see on here, I don't want this to go like straight down at a 90. Give it, give it a little room to operate there. And then we'll tighten it down here. If I can get my little gun in there. Oh, it's too tight. Can I do it sideways, perhaps? Will it do that? Oh. I 
It's going to take a little doing because the gun won't fit in this way. And I don't know if it'll grab right if I spin at 90, but I'm going to try. No, but it'll pull it tight enough. And then we'll just trim them manually. All right, that looks nice. So that gets everything up, like we're clean, all the way from the limit switch through the motor, the encoder, everything's routed and clean. I like it. That looks way better in a hurry. Now that we've got these all together, we're gonna come right through the middle of the robot down here, making sure not to tangle any of the other wires. And there's a lot, but that's gonna get cleaned up soon. We'll join all those together and now, if you look down in here, you can see both of our ends come to just about the same spot, like they're within a half inch of each other, and they all end right here. So at this point, I'm gonna add a couple zip ties off on this side here. I'm gonna put one here and one here just to clean that up a little and keep those together. Ooh, can I? No, that's a stupid idea. Yeah, only zip tie the wires to themselves. You've got a nice little hole here and down here that you might be tempted to use for a zip tie, but think it through of how this is going to move. And remember, this, this whole assembly moves, so if you zip tie to that, you're gonna have a bad day. But we can zip tie the cables to themselves and that'll just help things stay clean. And if these zip ties don't turn out to be a good idea, I think we'll be fine. But if they turn out to have some kind of problem like causing a hang up or something like that, we can just cut them off later. Nice thing about zip ties is their transient nature for prototyping. Cool. All right, that finishes that one. See, they don't have to all be really long, complicated videos. We go step by step. Sometimes the steps are easy. I like it that way. So thank you for hanging out with me for episode 29. In the next one, we get to go up to the bigger sleeving. That's gonna be even cooler. You guys have fun. Thank you for hanging out with me today. And as always, I'll see you next time.